okay guys last video we learned what is consecutive integers odd and even also so let's actually apply those concepts into problem solving okay so we're going to read this problem find two consecutive integers whose sum is 191 okay so we're looking for two of them when you add those it's going to be 191 you know some of you do mentally but if you're in an algebra class right you your teacher instructor professor want to see the work you show the work right so you must show the work so let's say find two consecutive integers so remember let first one is always x second one is going to be x plus one so once you can figure those out right you know sum what is sum means sum means you add how do you add you add one number plus you add another number and that you set as a 191 why you set as a 191 because they said is is means equal to 191 okay so x is the first one i'm going to just fill in x plus one is the second one i'm just going to fill in fill it right so let's actually move it to the left side here so if you need a space if you need a space we can work those out okay now guys x plus x1 by now if you know you know after going through so many videos you know there is how many x's are there two x's that is invisible one that is invisible one here that is invisible one so clearly you have a two x plus one left over equal to one nine one okay then we do minus one minus one some will say why we do minus one right because one has a positive so we must cancel out one so that is going to give us 2x obviously this is gone right and equal to 190 and we divide by 2 we divide by 2 and you see x is equal to 95 okay x is equal to 95 now guys they said find two so obviously next one should be 96 you don't really have to work it out that is going to be your answer now i'm going to show you actually how to find out the next one is 96 now remember you said first one is x so x equal to 95 you found and also you said second one is x plus one so guess what 95 plus one which is 96 yeah so this is your consecutive numbers one after another okay let's move into the next problem as you see here right this time we have three consecutive integers three consecutive integers whose sum is 105 not only one we have three consecutive integers okay guys so let's take a look here guys first one i'm gonna write down here on the left side here first one is going to be x second one is going to be x plus one and third one is going to be x plus two you see that's one after another right so now you're going to add why are you going to add because this is sum sum okay so look sum is to one say oh i can actually put it down here and i have 3x plus 3 that's lovely you can do that also but I can show you here also down here with that same diagram add one plus another one plus another one equal to 105 all I do put down x here x plus one here x plus two here and guess what is going to give me 3x 3x plus this is going to give you 3 3 equal to 105 once we know this we can now start solving minus 3 in both side minus 3 in both side so clearly is going to give us 3x that's cancel out equal to 102 102 and then divide by 3 divide by 3 x equal to 3 times 3 is 9 1 2 
four, 34. So my first is, first one is 34, next one should be 35, and following one should be 36. So this should add up to 105, okay? And again, guys, I can show you here on the left side here, right? You can just check it out here. You said the first one is what? The first one is 34. And second one is 34 plus 1. It should give you the same thing. The next one should be also 36. Okay, so I can actually erase it here. You can figure it out. Yeah, let's do this here. Let's make it smaller. 34 plus 1, which is 35 and so on okay and always you should underline the answer you have and you can check actually if your answer is right if you add all three and it gives you one or five that means your answer is correct okay let's move into the next problem here guys let's move into this problem here the sum of again the sum of two even or odd consecutive integers okay so how do we find this one here and of course, there is E, so equal sign. So two even, so first even, first even, you know, is X. Second even, you know, X plus two. And if it was third, you do X plus four. Remember, that's how you do it, okay? Now, I'm gonna set it up again, same way. Plus, Again, it it's not necessary to be done like this. Yeah? I'm going to show you here this way also. Yeah, let's do this one. So you see how many x? 2x plus 2. Equal to, that is the equal sign. Equal to 4 or 2. Then we subtract 2. We subtract 2. Subtract 2 on both sides. So this got cancelled. What is left over? 2x. equal to 400 divide by 2 divide by 2 x equal to 200 well that's even you see that now if this is even what is the next even number okay so next even number well you know we assume is given as an even number as you clearly see so next even is going to be 202 202 and that's how we can actually find the answer of anything given like that. And of course, obviously, you can check this 2 is going to add up to 4 or 2. So this is how you deal with this kind of problem, guys, consecutive integers and so on. So if you understand this, you're going to have a very good time in algebra. Thank you so much.